In this video I'm going to show you how to use a custom L-frame to set the origin of your system. Here you can see we've got our system calibrated and I've got the one down on the floor. So I can set the origin normally like you would do. But you can see I've also put these markers down on the edge of the volume. So if I select these markers and I go to subject calibration and I create a prop. So here I'm going to call this custom L frame. So here's our prop. Now we've added a new feature to show 1.3. If you pause the real time and select the prop, you can see here we have our object manipulator and we can either uh, set these values to the object or to global. So here I'll see locally it's set to zero. If you want to set it to the origin, which is where our L frame is, and we can just zero these values. And now the origin matches that of the L frame. So the idea is you'd use your L frame once, you'd set your um, floor offset as well, your floor markers, and then you create your custom L frame like this. So now we've got our prop here. If we export this, we want to copy it into Vicon public documents calibration objects. Like so. Now if I untick the prop, uh, click play again. Just make sure that prop, yeah. So you can see the axis for the prop is right in the middle. And now if we go to camera calibration in our L frames, it's an advanced parameter. The drop down, we'll see our new um, VSK up here called custom L frame. That's what we've saved it as. And you can now use that to set your origin like so. So the idea is maybe you'd have these markers up on the wall around the edge of your volume and you keep them hidden obviously for camera masking and then when you were ready to um, orient your volume you would make these markers visible and um, use the custom L frame. Great, thanks for watching.